It's one of the coolest technologies out there. It's a low power technology that you'll find in almost every e-reader on the market. It's e-ink. I'm here with Giovanni Mancini of e-ink and we're talking about the technology, how it works and where it's going. Giovanni, what are we looking at today? So, you may know e-ink as the basic technology that goes in e all the e-readers around the world. I just want to show you something new that we have here today. So this is kind of the e-readers that you're familiar with. Something novel is our flexible displays. So here's a, a display with a Wexler device that has a display that's totally flexible. What's great about this compared to a standard display is that I can drop it on the floor and nothing happens to the display. But moving on from our display technology, also with e-readers is we now have introduced our color display technology. So here we have a nine inch e-reader by a company called Jetbook that is tailored for the education market. And similarly with color, to improve the color capability, we also have a front light technology that allow, allows the display to be have much richer colors. So this technology is, go, is going to be in an e-reader by a company called Pocketbook in the middle of this year. But e-ink is diversifying into many other products besides e-readers. So one of the um, uh, things that you've seen e-reader uh, e-ink before is in, in, t in the form of watches. So this is a watch that's been on the market by a company called Art Technologies. It's a phosphor watch that uses an e-ink display that uh, c can show time in a number of different ways and basically allows you to be read readable outdoors. What's particularly novel that we're introducing today is, is a company called Central Standard Timing has announced the world's thinnest watch. And here we have the CST-01, which is a watch that is 0.8 millimeters thick and weighs about the, uh, the same weight as a quarter. This watch has been made possible by the, the e-ink technology. So here we have the inside of the watch. We have a standard e-ink screen, and because of the low power of the e-ink screen, they were able to use a very small, thinner cell battery. And because of the low power, basically the way this watch works is you have a control stand where the watch has four connectors in the back, two for power, two for actually controlling the watch. You snap the watch onto the stand, let it charge for 10 minutes, and the watch is good for one month, and moving on from there. So as you can see, e-ink is diversifying into a number of different technologies. And some of the novel technologies that we're, that we're also introducing is very large flexible displays. So here you have a standard display that has an image. And what's great about a flexible technology is that it's extremely light and extremely bendable. So this is something that you can't really can't do with any other technology except our e-ink technology. That is absolutely incredible. So would you say that within the next five years, 10 years, that e-ink is going to replace a lot of paper? That's what we're doing right now. We're actually replacing paper in a number of different areas. One place that you would find it very surprising is we're actually replacing the little price tag that you see on a store shelf. So here you have basically a price tag called an electronic shelf label that is being used by many large stores um, to, to keep their prices update uh, keep their prices totally up to date. What's great about this is that a store's uh, profit is directly related to how often they can update their pricing. And with this, they're able to control all their pricing from one central location. So you no longer need to have people going, going there and replacing every single shelf, a single price label on the shelf. Sounds like it's going to revolutionize retail. So that is e-ink technology. It looks like it's got a very, very bright future. Thank you very much. Really appreciate you talking to us today. Gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, gotta get.